Recording in progress. So we're going to chapter 17, barriers to communication in business. When we talk about barriers, we're talking about problems encountered that problems that stops effective communication. That's what barriers are. Do you understand? Problems that stops communication to be effective. So we go down. Communication is only effective if the receiver understands the message sent. These are things that get in the way of good communication are called communication barriers. Some examples are given. So whatever that hinders effective communication, we call it barriers. I think it's clear. Mm -hmm. So one of the problems about one of the problems that encountered that causes barriers in communication is lack of clarity. When we talk about lack of clarity, they wrote, if a message is not clear, it may be misunderstood or ignored. Unclear communication may be the result of poorly written or poorly expressed messages. So here, what they are saying is that when the message is not clear, you will misinterpret it or you will do what you are not supposed to do. The message is not clear. You, don't, you won't understand the message because it's not clear. So a message cannot be, might not be clear if it is written in a way that is, the writing is not clear or in the course of you speaking to someone, the person doesn't get the message clearly. So that means the message might be, might be misunderstood or ignored because I don't understand what you're saying and I, I find it difficult to express myself, to make you understand that I don't understand what you are saying. I will just ignore it. Do you understand? So if a message is not clear, the receiver might ignore or misunderstood it. That is, a, that is lack of clarity. I think it's clear. So when messages are unclear or misunderstood, then it is not effective. Because effective communication comes when the sender and the receiver are able to communicate efficiently and effectively without any in the hindrance. Then I was able to pass the message, you're able to understand the message, and you give you gave feedback. That is effective communication. But feedback would not be given if the message is not clear. That's one. The second one, technological breakdown. A lot of business communication communication is done electronically. If technology is faulty, communication may become unclear or breakdown. So it's communication. It needs electronic movement. So if the technology used is faulty, that means there's lack of clarity. That's another problem there. Do you get it? 